everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make a Mixamo animation on Blender 2.9. So start off by clicking on the Create tab on the Roblox website, and click Create New Game. Make sure Base Plate is selected. Now click Create Game. Now click Edit and open Roblox Studio. Now change the Models tab to Plugins in the Toolbox and look up Load Character. Install the free version of Load Character. Once you've done that, go to the top to your Plugins tab and click Load Character. Type in your username and make sure Spawn Origin is selected. Spawn in your character as an R6, and it should spawn in. Right click on your character in the Explorer and click Export Selection. Save your character to your computer. After you've done that, go to Mixamo.com. I'm already logged in, but you may have to sign in or create an account. Once you've created an account or logged in, click Upload Character and select Character File. Open up your rig, and it will process your character. Now your character will open up, and I'm just going to turn mine this way because it just is easier for me on the next step. Click next, and now you're going to have to add in these little dots based on your character. So I'm going to put the chin like right here. Do this for the rest of the dots. After you've put the dots where you like them, click next and it will auto rig your character. After it's done auto rigging, this will pop up and you can just click next. Now your character will be loaded into the grid. There's a bunch of different animations. This is just one of them for an example. You can pick whichever animation you'd like to use. Once you have the animation that you're going to use, click download, and then click download. Now once you have Blender open, click X to delete the cube in the middle, and delete the camera and the light. Press shift and then press the squiggly line, it's usually underneath the escape key. Use WASD after doing that to move. Now to import your rig you just got from Mixamo, click file, import, FBX. It will look like there's nothing there, so you have to go into this orange uh, square icon right here and in scale, set each one to one. Now your rig will be right here. You can play the animation to test it. Your character should be missing its textures, so to add the textures, click on a part of the character and click on Shading. Now you can click New, and it will add all of this, and you can click Shift A and then click Texture, Image Texture, and connect the color to the base color. Now open your image texture. Repeat this for every single part of your rig.
Once your avatar's textures are completely loaded in, just click on layout to go back to the layout. To be able to see your character's textures, click on the fourth bubble right here, and now you can see everything. I'm going to be adding in a blue backdrop, so I'm going to click add, mesh, and plane. To change the color of it, go into this circle icon right here and click new. Now change the base color to whatever color you'd like it to be. Now I'm going to duplicate this plane to make the back by doing CTRLC, then CTRLV, and turning it like this. Make sure it's pretty straight and pull it back. Now once you're done with that, you can click add camera and then click on this camera icon right here. Move the camera back to where you'd like it. And now test the animation. Now I'm going to add some movement to my camera. To do that, you need to start off by going to keying. Under active key set, click location and rotation. Now press I to add a keyframe to your camera. Move your camera as the animation goes along to where you'd like it. Once you're happy with your animation, go to the printer icon and change the file format to PNG. Click on the folder icon right here and create a new folder in your downloads. I'm going to call it animation. Now double click on the folder to open it and click accept. And now your animation is ready to render. So click render, render animation. And now your animation will begin to render. Once your animation has finished rendering, you can go ahead and close out the animation and click on this plus right here, click video editing and click video editing again. Now the video editing tab should be open, click add, image sequence and go to your animation folder, press A to open up every single image at once and click add image strip. My animation always comes out backwards, I'm not sure why. But if yours is backwards, you can come underneath the video and click reverse frames. Now it should be going the right way. Now change the file format to FFmpeg video and open up encoding. Change the container to MPEG4. Make sure the video codec is H.264. I'm going to set the output quality to perpetually lossless. Now your animation is ready to render, so click render, render animation, and your animation will begin to render.